Hey guys, how's it going? Revamping my old wardrobe, so yes. <laughs> Half com halfway completed anyway. I've got to chlorinate it yet, but it's still very wearable. Anyways, on being a toy and having toys. Um, there was an interesting person who was talking with a dom. He said, oh, she didn't know I was a sub and I had all these other things going on. So she's very open and talks to me about stuff. And um, recently got into a new relationship, a few weeks old. And they had the attitude of, you know, subs are just there for Dom's pleasure and they're just toys to be used um, kind of thing. And this was uh, a very negative experience for the, uh, the undercover sub, so to speak. Because, you know, they've had bad experience previously with dogs who've had that attitude. And I'm like, well, the thing is, they don't know that you've been in the lifestyle um, or that you're a sub or that you've had those bad experiences. So unless you actually share with them, um, they don't know to avoid talking about it or talk about it in a way that's different. Um, the other thing is that it's a new relationship two weeks, two weeks into it. And... Um, they're most likely suffering from Dom Frenzy, where they think that they have the power over everything. <laughs> um, and it happens, yeah. Dom Frenzy is a, fri is a thing, just like Dom Space and Dom Drop and all that sort of stuff. It's just a frenzy. Um, they indicate that they hadn't talked about their bad instances before, which kind of can accumulate. But they also, I would suggest that they also... Um, either see someone professionally, find a, a network of other subs to talk to, um, and then sort of make a decision on, on whether um, subs being referred to as toys, like a, a word is going to influence the rest of their life, you know. Um, so this is really annoying, some guys just clapping. Um, yeah, so they're going to let that influence the rest of their whole life um, and their future happiness and enjoyment and all that sort of stuff. Um, I would say it also depends when you can talk to them a little bit more and you could possibly educate them into saying, okay, look, this is one attitude and one way and this is what you read about, but in actual fact there's quite a few different ways you can look at those sorts of relationships and how things are going and and that sort of stuff. There was a lot of focus um, the sub had on like the whole aftercare thing. I think the focus should be more on their relationship and their consent there um, because aftercare is different for everybody. But as I said, there's, there's a vast difference between someone saying, oh, you're just like a toy to be played with and someone saying, you know, you're my toy, my cherished toy to be played with. Um, and having a toy to play with um, it depends on the attitude and the thought processes, the agreements and negotiations and everything like that and the feeling that you both have as to whether it's a, a well-loved, well-used and taken care of teddy bear that you take with you every night and snuggle or whether it's just a toy you picked up somewhere and thought, hey, you know, someone's a toy, no one owns it, I'll just use it and then if it breaks, so what? I'll leave it there, don't care. You know, there's plenty of um, plenty of people out there who do that. Now, the attitude of doms have all the control and subs are just there for their pleasure is is not what I'm about, but for some it is. Um, I'm not sure whether I've noticed it on the, I guess on a lifestyle level, where the, the more people are 24-7 into the lifestyle, the less this attitude is. I'm not saying that it's gone completely. I'm just saying that... Sometimes the appearance is that, but in behind closed doors and actual fact, the negotiations and talking and all that are, are the reality. Um, the reality is basically they might have final word, but the subs actually have quite a bit of freedom to do what they want and quite a bit of um, input into what happens in the relationship and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, but having a toy or referring to people as toys can be triggering for others. And so there's, there's a few options there. You can stop the conversation and walk away. Um, you can 
uh, stop the conversation and say, hey, look, I'd appreciate you not referring to them as that and or stop the conversation or redirect it and say, oh, yeah, well, I know uh, a, a sub or dom or something like that who also has blah, blah, blah and, and relate to them different tales of how things are and how other people do their relationships differently or you can even ask them more questions since it's a new relationship like how long is it going for is it like a casual thing because also I think I'm not sure but I mean to me it seems that the more casual um a casual like a relationship is the more people just like yeah whatever I don't care I'm enjoying my time now that could also be an agreed and negotiated relationship so hmm. So, yeah, have you ever been a toy or had a toy, so to speak? You know, um, this person also said that it would be a, a breach of trust for them to be referred to in a stranger's presence, well away from them, to be referred to as being a toy in that attitude. So, well, you can't adjust people's attitude just to suit you. Um, and the other thing is, you can't be with them 24 7 <laughs> and even if they refer it in generic terms to someone a toy that they play with you can't immediately assume it's going to be you so there is that as well so have you been a toy have you had a toy um what's been is that you know the negotiation there how did it progress was it just a natural thing and um you know have you ever come across people with um that attitude or differing attitudes and how have you handled it you know, um, have people been triggered by it? Have they sought professional help? Have you helped them through it? Um, have you not? Or just went, you know what, that's, that's your thing. Um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. Anyway, looks like it's going to be raining. It's supposed to be like 35, but still rain. So it's going to be humid as all heck, like it isn't all already. Anyway, there's some fires still going around. So um, it's put out quite a few fires and quite a few people are starting to rebuild which is a good thing. Now, if you're going to donate or help people out in the bush, remember small things count. And as much as possible, go direct to the people in the local communities that are going to, that, that are embedded in those communities. Um, that way you know the funds are definitely going to go towards them, not into consolidated revenue. <laughs> That's my bugbear. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye.